Are you using Trello and now you're ready to use labels to get even more organized? In this short video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can utilize labels on your Trello board. Hey y'all, I'm Kat, biz coach and integrator for creatives, helping you make dreams and dailies happen. I am also a Trello lover, absolutely obsessed with Trello. And in today's short tutorial video, I'm gonna flip the screen and show you how to use labels to your advantage. I've got a couple of tips and tricks when working with labels on your Trello boards, and I can't wait to show them to you. Before we get started though, I want to make sure I tell you about my ultimate Trello template bundle. This is a bundle filled with 11 video trainings and 10 Trello templates exclusively created by me to help you make dreams and dailies happen in your business utilizing a tool like Trello. So if you're interested, click the link below to grab that. I also have two free, completely free Trello templates that I would love to share with you. So grab those below too. Okay, let's go ahead, flip the screen and dig into labels. Hey y'all, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can use labels in Trello. So I've gone ahead and created a test board here for us. And so I've got a couple of lists and some cards on this test board. Now, if you are brand new to labels and you have no idea where to start, Labels are a way for your card to look like it's been highlighted. It allows you to use a color code system. So as soon as you open up the card, you're going to click right over here on labels. And this is where you can select or deselect whatever labels you want to use. There are a lot of colors available. And if you click create new label, there are even more colors available. So plenty of color coding options depending on what you are using the board for. And I'll show you an example of how I use these on both a launch planning board and a content creation board here in just a little bit. So you can kind of get your wheels turning for how this would potentially be helpful for you in your business. So um, what you can do is actually put a descriptor on the color, which I love to do. And the way that you're going to do that is if you click this little pencil icon here, this is where you can put that descriptor. So we could make this one be done. We could make yellow be in progress. We could have um, red be stopped whatever it is that you want to do. And then when you click on them to see them on the card, you can see them with the text on the color. Or if you click on the color, it removes the text from the color. Really great, really helpful, depending on how you visually like to see the board. Now, something else that you can do when it comes to the labels is if you go over here to show menu and you click labels, you can click enable color friendly mode. And this puts, um, excuse me, enable um, colorblind friendly mode. This allows it to work for somebody that doesn't see color well. It also works if you see color well, but you just like to see a pattern on the label instead of necessarily seeing the text or you just kind of like the look of the pattern. So really easy to enable or disable that particular feature depending on what you like to see. Now, why could labels potentially be helpful? When you are working in your Trello boards, you might wanna use some labels for workflow. And you'll see that on the content planning template that I have. Um, and this is available in that ultimate Trello template bundle that I talked to you about at the beginning of this video. Um, but I've got labels here for two different reasons. Number one, I've got labels for blog workflow so that I can quickly be able to see is the content scheduled? Has it been written? Is it completely done? Like where are we at just by gazing the board and seeing a color? I also have labels set up to help me identify blog categories so that I make sure I'm circling through the content categories that I want to utilize when I am content planning. So two different purposes for the labels, but either way, really helpful purposes depending on what it is that you're doing. You can also 
do something like what I do on a launch planning board where I like to mark it as done if it's been complete, but then I also want to highlight like waiting on something. A lot of times in a launch plan, because it's a longer project plan, I might be, you know, working on one one part of a to-do, but I'm not quite able to get it done. So this just allows me to flag it on the card and then I can come back to it. Like, so for example, if it was the graphics needed, I could say waiting on something. So then I know when I'm coming to look at this project, see how the launch plan is coming. Oh, here's what's waiting on something. What are we waiting on? How can I speed that process up? And I can see it a little bit better. Um, now, if you are also um, have a team, you could create labels for team members. So let's create together. Let's just say labels. And then if I want to go to labels, I want to make this Meg. I want to make this Elizabeth. And then I want to create new and make this cat. And then there we go. Now I have got these here um, so that I could assign things to a team member based on the label so that when Meg jumps into this board, she knows anything that's purple, that's priority for her. Elizabeth is anything that's blue and I am anything that is pink. So a lot of different ways that you can utilize labels when it comes to organizing your boards and making sure that you feel like it's streamlined. And it's also just a way to make it look prettier too <laughs> when you're looking on the board and seeing that color coded system and what's been highlighted and what hasn't. I hope that was helpful y'all. If you have any other questions about labels or you want to see another tutorial around Trello, drop it in the comments below. And remember my ultimate Trello bundle is available and as well as those two free Trello templates for you. I'll see y'all next time.